Hey guys, in this video, going to be going over a build that I like to go with on Swampert in the Gen 8 Pokemon Sword and Shield games. This is a physical attacker build, so what I'm going to do is go through the nature as well as EVs, item, ability, and moves, and how you access these in the games themselves. Starting off with nature, we're looking at Adamant, which is going to increase our attack, decrease our special attack, and for our EVs, we're maxing out HP and attack, the two highest stats that are on Swampert with the remainder of the points slotting into special defense. I'll link this article down in the description that goes over the ways that you can EV train your Pokemon. So what I do to max out a particular EV is, let's say I wanted to max out speed, I would give my Pokemon the Power Anklet EV Enhancing Power item to hold. And while holding that item, I'll send this Pokemon to Hammerlock University via Pokejobs. And of course, to max out speed, I would give it the speed job for an entire day. And once the full day is up, then that particular EV will be maxed out on that Pokemon. You can also skip forward in time in the game using the Den Reloading trick. So you can actually max out these EVs relatively quickly. Now for the item, I think Choice Band can be a solid option. The holder's attack is 1.5x, but it can only select the first move that it executes. And this gives us four different offensive moves, with one of those being one that we can switch out on if we don't like the matchup that we find ourselves in. And another item that I think is worth considering is Leftovers. At the end of every turn, the holder restores 1 16th of its max HP, especially since Swampert has such a high stat in the health area. For Choice Band, you can pick this up for 25 battle points over from the right attendant at the BP shop at the Battle Tower. Whereas leftovers can be had with a wild encounter with Snorlax and or Munchlax, as well as shaking berry trees, you can pick it up in the wild area. Now for the ability, I like going with Torrent. This has a nice synergy with Choice Band with this physical attacker build. When our Pokemon is at one third or less of its max HP, this Pokemon's attacking stat is 1.5x with water attacks. And we have two water attacks in our build to go off of. And having a Torrent Swamper, you can kind of play mind games with your opposition. They might just assume that you have the hidden ability Damp. And as a result of that, they might not use one of these moves against you anyways. So although you have the ability Torrent, you can kind of almost pseudo have the ability Damp just by playing those mind tricks on your opponent. Now heading into our diversified move set build, starting off with move number one, we have Earthquake, gives us the same type attack bonus, ground type, physical category, 100 power, 100 accuracy, and it hits adjacent Pokemon. And Swampert is going to learn Earthquake natively. Move number two, Liquidation, also going to give us the same type attack bonus. This is Water Type, Physical Category, 85 Power, 100 Accurate, and a 20% chance to lower the target's defense by one. And Liquidation is learned through TR-98. And this TR can be purchased for 3,000 watts if you can find it from a watt trader. Otherwise, it's going to be a value between 62 to 70 through the Cramomatic. And the Cramomatic is going to be located in Mustard's room in the Master Dojo on the Isle of Armor. And I'll link this Bulbapedia page down in the description. It gives a really helpful outputs table as well as the inputs for the items, their typing, and value. And to get the TR that you want, the first item that you put into the Cramomatic has to be the same typing of that TR. And then the four items in total that you put into the Cramomatic have to have a value that is going to be in the range of values for the TR that you're looking to obtain. Move number three, Ice Punch, gives us some nice typing coverage against our opposition. This is, of course, going to be an Ice type, physical category, 75 power, 100 accurate, and a 10% chance to freeze the target. Ice Punch can be learned through TM04, and this TM can be purchased in the Wind and Pokemon Center for 50,000. And move number four, Flip Turn, is going to give us an option to bail out of the matchup that we find ourselves in before locking ourselves in with our Choice Band item. So Flip Turn, same type attack bonus, Water type, physical category, 60 power, 100 accurate and the user switches out after damaging the target. Flip Turn is going to be learned through a Move Tutor. And as we can see, we have the Move Flip Turn here, and this is going to be on the Isle of Armor from the Move Tutor that's located at the Master Dojo. And that'll round out this offensive physical attacker moveset build that you can go with on your Swampert in the Gen 8 Pokemon Sword and Shield games. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.